Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Blockwise, and today I'll be playing Snowman Sky. We are back at the sub base. And today I want to do a little bit of decorating. And I don't mean going through here and doing stuff with the lights and all that. That's boring. So instead, I wanted to do some other, a different kind of decorating. Now, this planet that I live on here, you can see it's quite weird because we have these floating spheres? IDK. Well, whatever. So, the idea is I want to collect a bunch of those, collect a bunch of these, and put them around my base. Now, some of these you can actually pick up and put in your inventory, I'm pretty certain. In fact, let me take a look. I'm pretty sure I may have collected some already. Hello? Nope. Apparently not. And if you're wondering, hey, Blickwise, I've never seen any planet like this. How do you have these cool floating things? Well, it's because this planet has a high level of reality distortion, which leads to these weird things. And on, And there are a bunch of different kinds of planets with reality distortion and they each have their own special anomaly so if we head to wonders and we go to collective glitches you can see that there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven different glitches that we can collect and the idea is that I'm gonna fly around the galaxy and the universe and whatever and find as many of these glitches as possible now you'll know when you find a glitch because it will look different from what else is here and if you go into the scanner and you look around look a question mark ossified star I'm pretty sure that's what it is see this one here has a lighter color and it's blue on the inside so what I can do is I can collect it, and now I have one of these that I can put over here to make the base look pretty. Essentially I'm going to create a sort of museum exhibit of weird and wacky stuff throughout the universe. So we are going to take off, fly around, find as many of these as possible within, I don't know, an hour, and then we'll come back and see how many we found. Now I'm not going to show you all the plants I visit because there are just going to be so many. But what I will do is I will... I'll give you an idea of just how many I searched by showing you the numbers. Which would be quite interesting. So just as an example, what I'm basically going to be doing is I'm going to fly to a planet. This one says it's a lava planet, which probably means it's not going to be that interesting. So the general idea is warp into a system, scan all the planets, if there are any ones that are weird, like this is a calcified planet, then I'll head to that. And if not, well then we'll just proceed to the next galaxy. No, not galaxy, solar system. What am I saying? So we can head over here, for example, and take a look. So we've arrived, the game kindly tells us how many planets are in the solar system. Now this planet is a gamma intensive planet. I'm pretty sure that that's not the kind of planet we're looking for, I just think it means it's got extra high radiation. So you scan this one, tropical planet, nope. Oh, how did I miss you there? It is a blighted planet. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, that space station. Oh, we've already looked at you. I wonder if this planet has any moons. Any moons? I see no moons. I... For the record, I changed my opinion or whatever, I see a moon. It's a noxious planet, so not a moon. 
the planet in Senra. Scan you. Scan you. Yeah. Am I missing one? I'm pretty sure I'm missing one. I scanned you, didn't I? No, I didn't. It's a bit annoying because you have to get the crosshair to line up, otherwise it won't actually do the, the scanning. A bountiful planet. Nope. Now these glitchy planets are a bit on the rarer side, obviously. They are anomalies in the fabric of reality, so it makes sense that you don't find them in every system. Now, in other pla now, when it comes to finding these weird planets, I've actually come across a couple of them in my own personal save file where I just enjoy playing a game. There's this really cool planet that's completely covered in hexagons and it's quite interesting. So I'm hoping that we find one of those. A shattered planet. That may be one. I'm not completely certain. Toxic moon, no. Let's try this one. Look and see if I've missed any. Really nice that they make it so you can look around the cockpit. Gives more of a depth to the game. So one quick way to do this is we can just fly down. We don't even have to land on the surface, we just have to look around and see if there's anything quite out of the or oh yep. Yep, this is one. I've seen this plan before. The floating cubes. This is one of them. So we land, get out. Actually, wait. Look, it says the weather is winds of glass. Now that on something is quite interesting. But wait, if you look here, it says normally strength three, no, thirty-eight point ten, or thirty-eight point one. Boundary failing. That's one of the ways to to tell if you are completely certain. These strange planets have their own really weird flora and fauna, like the rolling spiky orbs on my home planet. Let's... Is this a robot or an animal? I can't be completely certain. What is it? Let me scan you. I'm not completely certain whatever that was that I just saw, but okay. So, once again, we have to look for the question marks. Now, the question marks don't appear all that often. They are rare in themselves, upon being only found on rare planets. So, it's like rare squared. So, we'll take a little bit of a run around, and if we can't find anything, we'll probably hop into our ship and see if we can find any from there, or at least move to a different area where we might have more luck. Or, you know, we could also go ahead and open the build menu. Oh yeah, here there's exotic decorations, planetary glitches, ossified stars. But we can pop down a geo bay. No, nope. I want to place you. Let me place you. And we can, say, hop into our vehicle and drive around, which is a bit faster. Is this one of the vehicles that has the boost on it? Oh, I think so. Hello? Oh, wait. The compass thingy says there is a... Yeah, wait. Is there literally one right here and I just didn't see it? Oh, it's inside this cube. Okay, so it looks to be that... We can tell these difference because they're green, maybe? We'll see if we can see any more, because it might be nice to have more than one. Nope. In which case, we will summon our starship and move on to the next planet. I think from this point, I'm just going to cut out all the in-between bits and only show you guys when I actually find one and what it looks like. 
So I guess I'll continue with glitch hunting, and I will see you when I see you. Okay, so we are literally in the same solar system as the last planet, and it seems we've gone a bit of a two for one deal right here. Yeah, the weather is lost clouds, and the flora and fauna are between worlds, whatever that means. This planet was classified as a columned planet, and I think I know why. Would anyone like to take a guess at why it's called a column planet? Anyone? Nope. Okay. So, now the hunt for the question mark symbol begins. Wait a second. Is this the f is are these the animals? How are floating, spinning, yellow crystals considered an animal? Please explain your logic. Hello games. For I'm quite confused. Excuse me. So yeah, looking around for any question marks, not spotting any. Maybe if we try using the scan feature, it'll ping something. Let me try getting in my exosuit again and seeing if, I mean, the mics are crapped, and seeing if I immediately find one again. Let's go for a different one this time. This one is quite cool, it's like floating. It's quite slow though. I thought these extra crap were supposed to be fast. Oh, there we go. I found the thrusters. So we're looking for anything different. Well, different to the already different terrain of this weird world. Let's hop out. Oh. And... Glitching Scepter. What is this? Oh. Oh, it's red. It's red instead of yellow. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's how you distinguish them, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, more of them. This is the first time I found so many. You know, these things remind me of that big black monolith from, I think it was 2001 A Space Odyssey. Editor, bloke-wise, put an image of what I'm thinking of on the screen right now so the people understand. Okay, there are even more. Is it like Black Friday sale on on reality distortions? One more and I think we'll go. I mean, I could probably spend ages gathering these. I'm seeing them everywhere, but I don't really have time. I mean, there's literally one right there. Another one there. There and there. But yeah, I don't have time to spend a billion years gathering every single one. So yeah, let's leave and try to find another one. See you guys in a bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am in the next system and I have found a capped planet. Now I'm starting to get a better idea of how to spot these from space. They never like say anything about radiation or or like any kind of special harvestable flora you can find. And yeah that makes it pretty easy to tell. And look at these. It's like a weird mushroom world. Yeah, the weather is clouds of haunted green. The floor is mis is like between worlds, and I think the fauna is misplaced. So the and the and apparently this planet has the coldest temperature of any planet I have ever been to. Interesting. But that's not what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. What are we here for? We are here for the anomalies, for the content. 
and content we shall find. Is this what we're looking for? Nope, that's not a glitch. A new glitch. There are so many weird things, I can't tell which one is the right weird thing. It's these ones that look like it's uh, like a pot with a mushroom blasting out of the top like it's a rocket? Or what? Is it this thing? Look at this, this looks like some kind of machine. Oh wait, there appears to be an animal down here. It looks to be like a cloud of fireflies? Wait, wait, are there bubbles floating through the air? Okay, I think I'm gonna rate- I think so far this is my favorite kind of funky planet that we've seen. Hey, look at it, it's like a fireflies or orbs of energy. Hello, friend. You're cute. Can I tame you? Yeah, I think I can tame you. Adopt as companion. I know, I know. I think it's their name. Oh no, they're feeling stressed. Come here, let me let me give you hugs and kisses and food. Hold, please, while I quickly get sidetracked. There we go. Okay, diversion over. Back to our main objective. It says there's something called metal fingers over here apparently. I'm not sure if that's what we're looking for or if it's something else. It hasn't got a question mark symbol, it's got a star symbol. Is this just a special resource? Did you just hear that? I'm not sure if my microphone and headphones are breaking or something else. There was some weird distortion like noise I just heard. Oh. Well, I think I found what I'm looking for. This one he this little pod thing here is is on the ground and it's red. Is it no? This isn't what we're looking for? Well, I'm gonna scan it. Notes. Musical when struck. Interesting. Oh, don't mind, this accidentally placed a marker beacon thing. Okay, so that's not what we're looking for, then what is? We come to collected glitches, maybe we can get an idea. It looks to be that one of those that one of these pods that has the thing sticking out the top is what we're looking for. Yeah, one of these. But it's not this one. Is it one that maybe it'll be a different color? Editor me, create some kind of exploration montage.
Okay, so I've had no luck so far, so what I'm going to do is I am going to install some scanning technology to see if maybe this will help me find what I'm looking for. I have to call it quits on this planet and come back in the future. Okay, we're going to give it one last look with the visor scanner thing and nope I don't see anything what I am gonna do is I'm gonna set up a base here that way I'll be able to easily return and continue my search another time Ooh, look at the upper atmosphere. You can see it's like full of bubbles. Well, something I know. So what we need is one cylindrical room, one door, and one base teleport module. Oh, oh, and we can't forget the most important part: turning on infinite power. There we go. Oh. I keep on forgetting things. We need to rename the space that way I'll actually remember what's going on here. I've got an idea. Let's name it something along the lines of maybe a bunch of question marks. Where's question? Oh, there's a question mark. Is that the copyright symbol? Can I like do question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, copyright? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked again. There we go. Now that that's out of the way, let's summon our ship and continue our quest. While I take off here, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that we are still under 20 subscribers, which means that at the time of recording, you, you the viewer right now, still have a chance to get your name on the planet of subscribers, where my first 20 subscribers names will be immortalized forever in giant text that will probably take me like 5 hours to make. But hey, it's worth it. Is that a purple star? Okay, respect to the purple star. Okay, well, I guess the search continues. I'm gonna keep on mapping planets and being semi sad when I don't find what I'm looking for. Wait. Is this. This is a planet. Is that a moon with. Another moon? Oh no, that's its own planet. Okay. That'd be funny though. It'd be like Moonception. Faster than the speed of content. Nothing here. On to the next. Well, well, well. What we have here, a bubbling planet. Now, doesn't that sound like something where you would find a glitch in the matrix, I guess you could say? Now, as we approach this planet, going faster than the speed of content, I'd just like to remind you that, hey, if you're enjoying the video, why not give it a like? It helps support what I do here, and gives me the knowledge that you guys out there in the community like what I do. Yep, this is a bubbling planet. There are literally rainbow bubbles everywhere. So, I think we all know the drill by now. Look around with the scan emulator and... Oh, here we go. Bubble cluster. Right over here. Quickly. Do these pop when I touch them? They do not. Can you destroy them? No. This planet is covered in... 
invulnerable bubbles. And rainbow orbs on the ground. Wait. Wait, this bubble has liquid inside and it's leaking out. Is this a creature? This creature's notes say, extra hidden skull. You... Do you even have a skull in the first place? Wait, I'm getting distracted again. Bubble cluster, here, right. Ah, uh, these bubble clusters, they appear to be a more of a greenish color than the others. Let me quickly see if I can find any more. Nope. Well, in that case, on to the next planet. I just realized I probably should be marking these planets so I, with bases, that way I can easily come back to them if I want to ever do more stuff on them. But hey, I'll be able to find them quite easily. I'm sure of it. Well, oh well. Let's see here. This is the bubble planet. I just left it. And over here... We have another one of those column planets. Not what we're looking for. But interesting to see that this system also has more than one. Oh. A blood planet. Okay, well, I think this is another one of those anomalies, which would mean that this system has three of them, which is cool. If you are looking for these, I have found the most luck in systems where you, systems where there's like no other life forms, no space stations, no nothing. Oh, is there some kind of storm going on? Oh, no, it's just the sea. So let's land on this peninsula over here and get started. Weather, red mist. And this planet is apparently the least hospitable planet that I have landed on. And then we have a Heaviest flying life form over there, okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the kind of plant supposed to be on, I'm not sure. There doesn't seem to be this much life on a planet that's all weird and funky. So we'll take a look around, and there's a chance that I might be wrong and this isn't a anomalous planet, even though it's literally called a blood planet. Okay, I'm currently exploring an underwater cave to see if I can find any glitches, but considering the fact that but just before I jumped in here, it said that there was a superheated rainstorm, I think that's the final nail in the coffin. For this planet. Glitched planets don't usually have weather, from what I've seen. I should have noticed that it didn't say anything about boundary failure or anomaly strength when I land on this planet. I guess I was just too distracted by how cool a blood planet sounds to notice. So I found another planet here. This one is literally called a planetary anomaly. So if this doesn't have anything on it, then the game is trolling me. Okay, we've got a planet that has a bunch of weird mushrooms on it, okay. This does look very odd. But we shall see what the computer has to say. 
Okay, ship, what's the verdict? It just says temperature. Unimaginable blue. Uh, I. Okay, found a new least hospitable planet. Yeah. I don't think this one has any anomalies on it because the game have told me about it. But I can take a little look. Just in case. If at any point I missed a planet and wrote it off because I thought that it. for any reason, then please let me know in the comments if I made a mistake. I do read all of them. So, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna say this planet is not what we're looking for. I found a desolate planet, which isn't one I've seen before. It's actually right next to another one of those planetary anomalies. But you might want to know. Also, I love the way that the light from the star in this system is cast... is... being used to cast a shadow across the rings. Oh, it's gone now. This does seem very desolate. No life forms or anything. Wait, wait, what was I? Peaceful. Sentinels on it. Wait, wait. It just says low atmosphere detected. I don't think I don't think there's much of anything here. This planet really is deserted. Yeah, usually a, a funky planet would have a bunch of weird life, not a lack of anything. It does seem to have a very low atmosphere, I do, I do have to say. No, that's not one of those capped planets. You are a... We got a skeletal planet here. Another weird one. Let's fly on over and take a look, I guess. I think this is going to be my last planet. We're coming up on... On an hour. Oh. Well, hello. Who are you? Hold, please. We are getting, uh... Oh! Oh, I remember this. This is the beginning of that... This is the beginning of that quest. Yeah, under Rebel Star. I don't care about that quest line. I care about... Weird planets. Survey says... I believe I found a weird planet. I guess the way I tell if it's a weird planet is if the flora and fauna gl glows a lot. The weather is just anomalous, apparently. And the animals appear to be subterranean in nature? Or something along those lines? This is going to be the most odd one yet. These things almost look like giant knives or something. Well, I guess I'll let you know when I find anything. If I find anything.
Okay, well, that took me less than a minute. But look what I found. This thing is really small. And it's got blue, gl a bluey, greeny glow instead of a red one. It's called a rattle spine. I guess that makes sense considering the fact that this is a skeletal planet and all. Also, look at the weird purple particles that are that you see every now and then. Quite interesting. Oh, oh there's one more rattle spine right over there. I'll grab that and then we will head back to the subscribe base and we will take a look at what we have found. Okay, now that we have arrived back at our main base, let's hop out and place down the anomalies we got and take a look at them. So, first of all, we have the electric cube, I'm pretty sure. Next we have the rattle spine. Really, really cool that it got a little pedestal. We got the Ostrified Star. We have the Glitching Separator. Not Scepter. I can't believe I was calling it Scepter earlier. And the Bubble Cluster. Now, these are only five of the eleven anomalies, so I missed six out there. But, you know, luck is what it is. And I think these are really cool. I mean, look at this one. It's got like a TV screen on it that's phasing out. This one is just cool. It's got a little stand. This one looks like it's some kind of device used to contain some kind of soul. This one looks like, I don't know, something from... I don't know. This just looks epic. Change my mind. And this looks carefree. Huh, interesting. The central bubble of the bubble plus it has a hitbox. So yeah, these are the six anomalies that we have gathered throughout the course of this video. And in my own time, off camera, I will definitely do some exploring and see if I can find any more of them. But I think that's going to do it for this video. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Maybe consider subscribing. And I will see all of you guys in the next one. Goodbye.